Hey, what's up guys? It's Jamie. Today we're going to be learning about the button toggle for Angular Material. And we're going to be going through this documentation and seeing what this thing can do. If you haven't seen my tutorial on Angular Material Basics, be sure to check that out and this will make more sense. Uh, with that said, we're just going to be getting this first example working on our own blank site. Um, so the first thing I need to do is import mat button toggle module. Okay, and then in my own HTML file, I'm just going to paste their example. And uh, they have a name and stuff. We don't really need that. Uh, we just need the mat button toggle group. And then a couple of mat button toggles inside of that. Um, so they each have their own value. Uh, and when you click on one of these, it'll set the value of the mat button toggle group to be whatever that value is. So either bold, italic, or underline. All right, so here on our site, uh, we have three options. And when we click one of them, uh, one gets selected. So right now, it's in the mode which they describe as radio button. Um, but you can also have it so you can select multiple of these. All right, and just to make it a little more interesting, let's make it display the value. Uh, I think they do that in their example here. So what they do is they mark the toggle group with this variable group. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then below that, inside of a div, um, they just have the value of group displayed. And then they have a class here. <laughs> we don't really need that class. OK, so it grabs the value from the group um, and displays it down here. So let's check that out. So right now it's empty. And then when I click one, it sets the value to uh, the value of the selected item. All right, the only other thing mentioned in the docs is that you can have multiple selection enabled. Um, and that's just by setting the multiple attribute on the toggle group. So if I do that, we'll see what happens. It says that it doesn't support um, a value or ng model for the group as a whole. Um, <clears throat> but it looks like it does. So right here it says, in this mode, the values of the toggles are not used. Um, map button toggle group does not have a value. and ng model is not supported, but I mean, it kind of is setting the value to be an array, so I guess that kind of counts. All right, now I'm going to try binding the value of the toggle group using ng model um, to a variable, which I'll just call my model, and then down here I'm going to have it uh, display my model. So we can see how this behaves with multiple and an ng model. OK, so in the app component, I'm going to declare my model as a variable. I'm not going to set it to anything at first. OK, and I'm also going to import a forms module as well as reactive forms module. All right, so, so far the page loaded. And when I select these items, um, it indeed does bind to the model, uh, even though it says in the docs that it doesn't. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, and I'm going to try it now with without multiple selection. So we'll see what that does. All right, so here we are again. And it works with multiple selection as well. So I'm not really sure what this part that says it doesn't have a value and ng model isn't supported is meant to say, but it seems to be working when I tried it. Anyway, so do with that information what you will. Alright, so that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.